Evolution of the Mad Hatter. Alice in Wonderland, 1903. The Mad Hatter appears portrayed by Norman Witten. The Duchess's Cheshire Cat appears and disappears a couple of times to Alice and directs her to the Mad Hatter's Mad Tea Party. Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, 1910. The Mad Hatter appears together with the March Hare. Alice in Wonderland, 1915. Alice finds the Mad Hatter and March Hare, who live at a tea party in the woods. Alice in Wonderland, 1949. The Mad Hatter appears voiced by Raymond Bussiers. Alice in Wonderland, 1951. In the 1951 Walt Disney animated feature movie, the Hatter, referred to by others as the Mad Hatter, appears as a short, hyperactive man with gray hair, a large nose and a comical voice. He was voiced by Ed Wynn. Alice stumbles upon the Hatter and the March Hare having an unbirthday party for themselves. The Hatter asks her the infamous riddle, why is a raven like a writing desk? But when she tries to answer the Hatter, the March Hare thinks she is stark raving mad, and the Hatter completely forgot that he even asked her the riddle. Throughout the course of the movie, the Hatter pulls numerous items out of his hat, such as cake and smaller hats. Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, 1972 the Mad Hatter appears portrayed by Robert Helpman. Alice in Wonderland, 1981. In the animated Russian movie, the Hatter appears voiced by Alexander Burmistrov. Alice in Wonderland, 1985. The Mad Hatter appears portrayed by Anthony Newley. He, March Hare, and Dormouse having an outdoor tea party. Adventures in Wonderland, 1992. In the TV show, the Mad Hatter appears portrayed by John Robert Hoffman. The Mad Hatter lives in a house-like shaped hat, and is usually seen at his perpetually set tea table. Bonkers, 1993. The Mad Hatter appears voiced by Corey Burton. He and the March Hare live in the H in the Hollywood sign. In the episode In the Bag, Hatter calls Bonkers and Lucky Paquel to uncover the disappearance of his and the March Hare's valuable teacups. Trouble begins to arise when every inch of the Hatter's property, including the March Hare himself, also goes missing. As the Hatter sobs in despair at his loss, Lucky and Bonkers arrive, and the frustrated Mad Hatter takes the opportunity to inform the duo of the most recent missing items, beginning with the Hare. Then the Hatter vanishes as well, and it's soon revealed everything was taken by a klepto handbag, longing for companionship. Alice in Wonderland, 1999 Martin Short appears as the Mad Hatter, a mad haberdasher whose tea party Alice happens upon. Other party guests are the March Hare and the Dormouse. The Hatter and the March Hare are quite rude to Alice, insulting her several times and shooing her away. Nevertheless, the Mad Hatter performs a bizarre rendition of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star for Alice. Futurama 2001 The TV series has a robot named Mad Hatterbot who is based on the Hatter. Seen only in the HAL Institute, an asylum for criminally insane robots, the Mad Hatterbot only says one line, change places. Mickey's Magical Christmas, snowed in at the House of Mouse, 2001. The Mad Hatter goes up on stage, performing a song about why he's grateful for hats. House of Mouse, 2001. In the episode Donald's Pumbaa Prank, he appears laughing and pounding his hands on his table at Donald's old cartoon. In the episode, Daisy's Debut, he appears shown to have auditioned for the role of Genie in Aladdin, but was rejected after being disappointed that there was no tea in the lamp. In the episode, Max's Embarrassing Date, he is seen dating Mrs. Potts, and after Goofy's being tipped over, bumping into Mrs. Potts, he asks, oh dear, one lump or two, and later pops his head out of his table in shock after the mess Goofy made to all the guests and their tables. The Lion King 1 and a half, 2004 the Mad Hatter appears as a silhouette cameo, where he was sitting next to Rabbit as Stitch was making his way to his seat. Alice in Wonderland, 2010. The Hatter appears in Tim Burton's version portrayed by Johnny Depp and given the name Tarrant Hightop. In the movie, the Hatter takes Alice toward the White Queen's castle and relates the terror of the Red Queen's reign while commenting that Alice is not the same as she once was. The Hatter subsequently helps Alice avoid capture by the Red Queen's guards by allowing himself to be seized instead. He is later saved from execution by the Cheshire Cat and calls for rebellion against the Red Queen. Near the end of the movie, the Hatter unsuccessfully suggests to Alice that she could stay in Wonderland and consummate his feelings for her. Electric Holiday, 2012
The Mad Hatter appears as one of the many Disney character guests to attend Minnie Mouse's fashion show. Once Upon a Time 2012 The Mad Hatter appears played by Sebastian Stan. He is presented as possessing the unique ability to cross dimensions through his hat, and has a daughter, Grace, who lost her mother Priscilla as a result of a past deal with the evil queen. When the queen offers him enough wealth to set his daughter up for life, he agrees to help her travel to Wonderland. But when it is revealed that the goal was for the queen to retrieve her captured father, the Hatter is left trapped in Wonderland instead, as the portal will only allow two people to pass through it in either direction. Trapped in Wonderland, he was then driven mad as he attempted to find another way back to his world to reunite with his daughter. Ever After High, 2015 In the episode Spring Unsprung, the Mad Hatter makes an appearance as Madeline Hatter's father. In the 47-minute special, he runs the Mad Hatter's tea shop in the town of Bookend, not far from Maddie's school Ever After High. He also runs a shop by the same name in Wonderland, but it was abandoned after the evil queen, Raven Queen's mother, cast a curse upon the land. Alice Through the Looking Glass, 2016 Johnny Depp reprised his role as the Mad Hatter in the 2016 sequel. Alice comes across a magical looking glass that takes her back to Wonderland, where she finds that the Mad Hatter is acting madder than usual, and wants to discover the truth about his family. She tries to console him, but he remains certain that his family survived the attack of the Jabberwocky. Alice then travels through time, with the Chronosphere, comes across friends and enemies at different points of their lives, and embarks on a race to save the Hatter before time runs out. In the end, the Mad Hatter reunites with his family. National Ballet of Canada, 2019 Chelsea Mice became the first female soloist to play the Mad Hatter for the ballet. Come Away, 2020 The Hatter is played by Clark Peters. He is depicted as the father of Captain Hook, the grandfather of Alice and Peter Pan, and the great-grandfather of Wendy Darling, John Darling, and Michael Darling.